Hi there, Cypress community. Thanks for joining us. In this video, we'll be giving you a demo of Test Replay, the new interactive debugging tool in Cypress Cloud that empowers you to effortlessly replay and analyze failed or flaky tests in CI. As a reminder, Cypress Cloud is a hosted service providing online access to your Cypress test results. It offers rich analytics, integrates with your tech stack and CI pipeline, and enable smart orchestration for optimizing test suites and CI. You can connect it to the open source Cypress app for convenient test review and debugging workflows. With Test Replay, you can gain unparalleled visibility into the events leading up to crashes or failures by inspecting the DOM, network events, console logs, and JavaScript errors as they happen during CI. Save hours of work without having to locally reproduce issues that occurred in CI, discover every nuance of your test runs with ease, and foster a culture of seamless collaboration amongst your team members. First, you will navigate to your latest runs in the left side nav. The icons to the left of each row indicates the status of the run. The key on the right side of each row indicates the number of skipped, pending, passed, or failed tests associated with that run. Click into the corresponding run. As you hover over the failed test, you will see a test replay button. Similarly, if you click into the test detail sidebar, you will also see the test replay icon at the top. Clicking on this will take you to the replay of the first attempt. If you scroll down, you'll see that the button is available for all attempts associated with the failure, so you can access replays of various different attempts if you choose. In this case, we'll scroll up and access the replay of the first attempt, and a modal window will open, which is the standard test runner that you're already familiar with, but with additional views and tools to help you analyze and debug. Click the play button within the controls at the bottom of the screen to initiate the test replay, which will replay the application under test. Within the progress bar, you'll see two primary colors. Blue indicates the part of the run that had a successful test execution, whereas red indicates the point in which there was a failure. You will also notice a button in the bottom left corner of your screen, where you can toggle between the different attempts and isolate the source of the error more effectively. In this example, we do have a test that has failed during execution. Within developer tools, you'll see the network requests that are associated with the test. Click on any of the individual network requests to time travel to any point in your test execution, so you can navigate through the individual network requests associated with the failure. You can view what the tests look like prior to the request or after once the response comes in. Click into the network request itself and view the associated request headers and response bodies. Navigating back to the failure and clicking on it will also allow you to examine console logs and errors. These errors can provide valuable information about issues in the application or test scripts and can range from security errors to resource loading errors to browser compatibility errors. You can also open up your browser's developer tools and inspect any values and their changes during code execution, helping you understand how your program behaves step-by-step. Step. Manipulate the document object model or DOM directly, identify the root cause of any bugs and fix those elusive bugs efficiently. Finally, you can also share replay links with your team by copying and pasting the URL and collaborate on effective solutions. Integrations with popular collaboration tools such as Slack and Microsoft Teams further enhances the collaborative experience. And you can enable real-time notifications in these channels that will alert you as tests are ready to be viewed, ensuring that the relevant stakeholders are promptly notified when something requires attention. Leverage the collective intelligence of your team to resolve bugs swiftly. As a reminder, Test Replay is only available on Chromium-based browsers, made available with the introduction of version 13 and will be enabled by default. If you ever want to opt out of Test Replay, you can do so through the project level settings. Test Replay is also only available for new test runs running on version 13 or higher so you won't be able to access replays of historical runs recorded with older versions of Cypress. If you are running tests from within a restrictive VPN, then you will need to add the capture.cypress.io URL to your allow list. And that's a wrap. We hope that you found this demo helpful. With insights gained from Test Replay, you and your team can make informed improvements to your CI pipeline. 
Use this new interactive debugging tool to enhance code quality, streamline deployments, and maintain a robust development workflow. For additional information about Test Replay and to learn more about version 13 and its features, we invite you to explore our change log. Thank you.